say the third time's a charm. For Marvel, fifth time was the charm. Make no mistake, this was the movie that got Marvel rolling. The first time a Marvel property was treated with commercial and critical success. What's most amazing about this movie is how it succeeds. Men in Black is a comedy adventure. Comedy is a tricky genre. I think Howard the Duck was supposed to be a comedy and failed spectacularly. This movie is a comedy and it holds up quite well. It certainly helps that this movie is held together by a clear, coherent story. Perhaps this is because this is the first movie made by a skilled director. Barry Sonnefeld isn't the best director in the world, but he can usually pull off comedy with serious elements, and that's exactly what Men in Black is. The story revolves around Kay, Tommy Lee Jones. His partner, D, retires at the beginning of the movie, leaving space for a new recruit in the Men in Black a super secret organization that deals with all extraterrestrial activity on Earth. The new recruit is Jay, Will Smith. Jay is the brash, headstrong type you'd expect. But what makes it work this time is that he's still smart. You get a sense that his overconfidence is not completely undeserved. The actors really help this movie along. Jones and Smith are essentially playing the characters they play in most movies, so naturally they know how to do a good job. They also play well off each other, giving the characters great chemistry. Okay, look, check it out, man. When do I get my own flashy little memory messer upper thingy? When you grow up. Mm, okay. Linda Florentino does a great job as a morgue examiner who encounters alien corpses more often than she can remember, quite literally. However, the real standout is Vincent D'Onofrio's Edgar, who for most of the movie plays an alien in human skin. The mixture of his performance and makeup sells this amazingly well. It's a detail, but I love how at no point does the movie feel it necessary to say out loud that sunglasses block the effects of the memory neuralizer, yet that is completely clear through the actions of the characters throughout. That is how nonverbal storytelling works. The movie's not perfect by any means. The mystery of Orion's belt is painfully obvious early on. Fortunately, the characters aren't lost on this mystery for too long to affect the overall enjoyment. Pretty much every alien solely exists for the point of making some sort of joke. Even the main villain is played for laughs and never actually feels like a threat. At no point do I fear our heroes will fail. Yet, I still found enough to laugh at to enjoy this movie and never get bored. First Marvel movie to do that quite literally when this movie came out. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page.